Welcome! This video is about how to collect and clean dandelion seed to feed to birds in a wildlife rehabilitation practice. These are the bird species known to eat dandelion seeds. Just grab a paper sack and head out mid-spring, just about the time that people start mowing their yards. That's when dandelions tend to all go to seed at once. Sure, individual dandelions will go to seed all summer, but mid-spring is the best time for collecting the biggest quantity of seed in the shortest time. Wait until the seed head is fully open to collect the seed, just before the seeds start to blow away. Once you have all the seed you want in your sack, just close the top, set it aside somewhere dry inside for one or two more weeks. And just like dandelion greens have some look-alikes, dandelion seed also has look-alikes. This is colt's foot, and it blooms about the same time as dandelion. Here's dandelion on the left, so they're about the same size. And also, colt's foot has a yellow flower, which is a little bit like dandelion, but there's no leaves at the bottom. That's how you tell them apart. No leaves, basil leaves at the base. But back to working with our dandelion seed, here is our collected seed, and here is one individual seed. So how do we clean that now that we've had it dry for a couple of weeks? Working outside on a windless day so that everything doesn't blow away. Mostly you just start rubbing your seeds together gently at first, just so they don't blow away, and rub and rub, breaking those, those hairs, those parachute fluffy things off from the seeds. Just keep working it in your hands. The seeds will fall to the bottom and separate off. can work the seed as much as you want, but you should be able to clean a batch of dandelion seeds like this in less than five minutes. The fluff will separate from the seeds. When you shake the bowl, the seeds will separate to the bottom and then you can pick the fluff off. Once you take the fluff off, you can separate the clean seed, and then you can rework the fluff and try to get a little bit more seed out too. And here's your finished product. The fluff on the left you'll just discard, and your seed is ready to be given to your rehab animals. Thanks for watching, and check out our website at www.wildfoodsforwildlife.com.